Hi, welcome to my channel. You know, on this channel, I teach you how to make trendy ways. If you have not subscribed to my channel, click on the subscribe button now. So today, I will teach you how to make long top, loose fit top, and I'll be using um, KT African print uh, fabric. So you can use it on the, your jeans, you can use it on your pencil skirt, you can use it casually, and you can use it as a corporate. Now, I want to cut the front cut of our long top. First of all, you get the length of your long top, which is uh, 31 inches. It has to be like 30 and a half inches, but I had the seam allowance one to it, making 31 and a half inches. Then I get the shoulder. The size I'm making here, I'm making large size. So I'm going to use eight and a half as the as my shoulder. Then my bust line, nine inches. So you ensure that this place too is a eight and a half. Then you link it together. You link the line together. That is, this is bust line. Then I get my, the wideness of my neck. That is my neck width. So which is a four and a half. Four and a half. The depth is a four. Then I link it together. So I come down on my bust line with one to slant my shoulder. Then I link it to the wideness of my neck. I get my bust. The bust of a large, large size is, a, I'm going to use 11 because it's free top. I'm going to use 11. So that's a, which means the large size bust is 40. So plus a seam allowance and everything. 44, I divide it by four. It gives me 11. Then I get my waist or my half length. My half length is a, 18, either 17 and a half or 18. I use 18. And my waist is 9. It's 36, so by the time you divide it, plus sigma allowance. It's 36, you divide it by 4, it gives you 9. So plus sigma allowance, I use 9 and a half. Then my hip is a 12. Is a 44, then I divide it by um, 4, it gives me um, 11. So, plus seam allowance, I'm using 11 and a half or 12. Then I link, I link it together. Waist to hip, bust to waist so you can use your hip cuff to correct this place so that it won't be sharp then to get your hair mold you get the midpoint of the um, bust line my bust line is nine the midpoint is four and a half then I'll come down a bit like one inch making Five and a half. So on it, I come in with like a half. Then I link it to this place to shoulder slant. Now I now link it to the to my bust. So this is the front cut. I will now I'll cut it out now. 
So before I cut it out, the long top we are making as a TM cuff. So I want to do that cuff now. So this is the front cut. So I want to make the back cut now. Now we are cutting the back of our long top. So as we did in the front, we get our shoulder, which is a hit and a half. The bust line is a nine inches. Link it together. The width of my neck is a four and a half. So to come down at the back has to be one inch. That is the depth of the top of the neck, the neck of the top, one inch. So you link it together. You know the front was a to come down was four inches, but for back. It's just one inch. Then you link it to the width. You slant your shoulder by coming down by one on the bust line. Then you link it to the width of the neck. You get your, the bust, which is a, uh, 11 then you move down to the to our back to get your waist and the waist is a nine and a half the hip is a 12 then you lick it together point of your bust line four and a half you come down a bit so on it you're moving with half then link it now you get your hammer you can use your French cuff or you use a freehand sketch as I'm doing it. So this is our back. This is the back of our long top. So then you move down the tip of your top, you make your TM cuff. So this is the back cut of my long top. So the next thing is to go and join it together. We have joined the front and back of our 
long top, loose fit uh, kente top. We have joined the front and back. We have uh, fixed the um, facing. This is the facing for the front and for the back. So now we want to cut the hand. So to cut the hand of this uh, long top, you will measure your arm, your round down to get your arm hole. And what I'm having here is 19. This is my round down. So I want to, that is what you will use in getting your arm hole. So to cut the sleeve of our long top now, um, the type of sleeve we are to cut is a three quarter. So that is a 18 inches, 17 inches plus a one inches sewing allowance, making 18. So you get your 18. So the round down is a seven. I'm going to rule it here too because we must not exceed our boundary which is a 18 inches length and the width is 7 inches on foot so and you know initially we we have a 19 inches in our round arm so it is that 19 inches now so when 19 inches is on foot it has to be um now if you divide it by two you divide it 19 by two it gives us a nine and a half. So it is nine and a half you are going to get here now by getting it slantly with your with your tape. You can see. So I mark where I can get the nine and a half from up here. So I now slantly join, link it together. So after linking it together, you measure it again to ensure that your nine and a half is still intact. You can see. So nine and a half times two gives you 19. So the down part, you shape the down part, you know, it's seven, you shape it by coming in by one, which gives us six. Then you slightly lick it together. So this is our hand, I cut it out. This is the sleeve. So you cut out two of these for the two sleeves. The next thing is to go and join it to the body. To order for this tour or any other trendy ways, just click on the WhatsApp link in the description. So if you have any content you want me to do video on, you can just drop it in the comment section. Thank you.